Hi traders, welcome to Quantsapp and welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we will learn about uh, a sentimental indicator which will help you engaging the sentiments of the market. So we will learn about options volume put call ratio. Options volume put call ratio guide to short term options trading. Options volume put call ratio will tell you not just where the activity is happening, but it will also tell you what is the direction. So with this indicator, you can easily figure out whether uh, the bulls are active or the bears are active. So do check out the video till the very end. And if you are a short term option trader, short term directional option trader, then you should know this indicator. So check out the video till the very end. So to start off with, we being derivative trader, we have, uh, you know, two, three things through which we can go ahead and gauge sentiments. But talking about put call ratio, we can go ahead and take put call ratio of open interest. We can basically go ahead and uh, check out how much total put open interest is in the market and how much total call open interest is in the market. Okay. So which will, which will eventually tell me who is aggressive, whether the bulls are aggressive or the bears are aggressive. Okay. So we have YPCR, which is open interest put call ratio. How it is calculated total put OI divided by, okay. Total follow on. Okay. So now what what is what is the catch in this? Okay. So the catch in this is that it is based on open interest change. So now let's say for an instance, if the open interest is 50 lakhs right now, and through uh, by the end of the day, also it remains 50 lakhs. But do you think that there is there has been absolutely no trades whatsoever because the OI is not changed? The answer is no, right? The open interest which is basically the open contracts. Are they changing? Are they increasing or decreasing? It will show you that. But does it account for the volumes which are happening? Does it account for the trades which are getting, uh, you know, which are taken place? The answer is no. It doesn't account for the trades, the trading, the frequent trading which is happening, right? It is just taking uh, open interest into consideration. If the OI is going up, then there will be change in PCR. Elsewhere, it won't be. That is the first thing. Second thing is, it is more of a longer term view indicator, right? So as long as uh, I have observed it empirically, it has been observed that to OIPCR, it, it works more well, okay, more better if we use it on a, you know, longer term view. So here comes where wall PCR comes handy, okay? Because it accounts for the volume which are happening in the market, okay? For all the trades which are taking place on the call and put side, okay? So volume put call ratio, how it is calculated total put volume divided by total call volume. Okay. So now how does it help? Okay. So it, it helps us in gauging sentiments of the market. Let me tell you how. Let's say you are bearish on the market. What is your trade? You will buy puts. Okay. Or you will buy puts. To hedge. In either of the cases, you will buy put options. That is the first thing. Second thing, if you are bullish, what you will do? First thing, buy calls. Okay. Or buy calls to hedge. Okay. Now, this thing will exactly help me in knowing whether the bulls are active. Is there a positive sentiment in the market? or a bearish sentiment in the market. Okay. So how will I come to know that? So just think about it in this way that if wall PCR, okay, is above one, that means the number of puts traded are more versus number of calls traded because if the numerator is bigger, right, which will tell me that, okay, the denominator is obviously smaller. So that will tell me that there is bearish sentiment in the market. Okay. If it is above one, more puts are traded slash bought slash hedged to protect the downside. Okay. If wall PCR is below one, that will tell me that more calls are traded, okay, slash bond, slash hedged to protect the upside. Okay, hold till now. If it is one, then what? It is neutral. Okay, 
Now, here are few characteristics. Before I uh, come towards the trading part, okay, here are few characteristics of uh, wall PCR. Number one, okay, it shares negative correlation with the underlying, okay. So typically you will see that whenever uh, the wall PCR, whenever it goes up, the underlying goes down. Whenever the wall PCR goes down, the underlying goes up. The, the, the rationale is very simple that whenever the wall PCR goes up, that means more puts are getting bought, more bearishness is happening in the market. So the market is likely to move down, right? And the vice versa. So let me show you uh, uh, for one instance of this. So if I just go to PCR, so by the way, you can access this tool from, you know, our app. The link would be in the description box below also in the iCard over here. So if I just go to volume PCR, so you will get to see that over here. So the orange line is showing us the future price and the uh, blue line is showing us the volume PCR. Okay, so typically you will see what's happening is, so whenever, see over here, the volume PCR is going up, the Nifty is going down. Okay, in most of the cases, if not always, in most of the cases, you will see that they are moving in the opposite direction. Okay. So the rationale is very simple that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, puts are getting bought. The volume PCR is going up and up and up and eventually the instrument has to go down. Okay. So now coming to the second characteristics, okay, which is if, or let's say wall PCR going up means more puts are traded slash bought slash hedged okay for the downside okay or to protect indicating bearishness okay this is let's keep it simple so third thing is wall pcr going down means more calls are traded slash bought slash hedge. Okay. That means people are hedging it for the bullishness. Okay. Last thing is mean reverting. Okay. Mean reverting meaning that you will not find this indicator trending. Okay. So like other indicators, a few technical indicators, you will see that those indicators are trending, but this indicator won't be trending. It will remain in the range. So if I just show you, see, this is, so it, it has been in the range, right? It is never trending like this. If it goes up, it is likely to cool down. If it is at the bottom, it is likely to spike up. Okay. So now how do I trade this? Okay. So how do I trade this? So I know one characteristics, which will give me a direct trade, which is mean reverting characteristics. And th that is what exactly, if you see, there are few triangles on the graph. The, those are those are trying to show you exactly the same thing, right? So if I just show you this, okay, on 16th of Feb, okay. So if I just show you 16th of Feb, there happened to be a scenario wherein the volume PCR was at the top, okay. How does it gauge, gauges the top? So it gauges the top by identifying where the recent highs and lows of the put call ratio is, okay. So whenever you, you see the volume PCR has made a top on 16th of Feb, 1.044. And if I show you the, the market, okay, the, the market has been consistently moving up and still the volume PCR is going up. That means more and more puts are getting bought. So why the traders are buying a lot of puts? They are hedging it most probably to protect themselves from the down move, which they are seeing it, right? And this we are talking about not just one or two or retail traders. We are talking about the entire market as a whole, the entire volume as a whole. So if I just show you this from 16 Feb, market was at 1862, where there was a green signal coming in. The green signal came in directly at 17500 on 23rd of Feb. A drastic down move you would have got, right? Similarly, okay. So not just that, uh, the recent most signal as well. See this, on 22nd of March, Wall PCR identified that okay the volume PCR is at the top okay so there has there is a arrow which is indicating that the wall PCR is stopped so this red arrow indicates that there is a sell indication okay that you need to be prepared for the short trade in Nifty and the green indicates exit for the sell trade and also 
for a fresh entry for a buy trade. Okay. So generally, if you see the sell trades are uh, working quite better. So if you just see it on 22nd of March, 17185 was Nifty's price. Where is Nifty right now? 16940. So a drastic down move again you would have got, right? So simple, the idea is simple. Just understand the logic that the puts are getting bought so much. Now, why they are getting bought so much? Because they are forcing a down move, which they are anticipating the down move, which is, uh, you know, on the way, right? And whenever you see that this red is getting formed, that means the wall PCR has stopped up, top, uh, you know, has top out. It, it, it has gone to the resistance. From there, we might see the, uh, you know, the market to show some negative action because so many puts are getting etched. We are expecting a down move to happen. And the same we saw in few recent examples as well. And uh, yes, folks, I would say that was it uh, from my side. I hope I added some value to your trading. So if you have liked this video, do hit the like button, do hit the subscribe button. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye, take care and happy trading.